Uh, morning, morning, Leslie. Good I morning. had to stop the thing for a minute because I uh, got muddled this morning, you know, and I, I you think that's Friday because I'm speaking to you. No, oh, it's, it's Maundy Thursday today. Good Friday tomorrow. You know, uh, I know, boy. I thought it took me out on the cock. And as I've been sitting here, right? Yes. I, the, the wind is picking up, and I can hear <coughs> the neighbour Marcus's wind chimes are twanging. And uh, I do wish he wouldn't put them where they will twang so much, do you know? Because, you know, they, they, they're nice to, you know, nice for a while, and then they start getting on you, on yes. your suffer, don't they? You know, yes. I keep knocking into each other, and, <clears throat> and the other week when that was blowing across here, uh, I thought they were coming off, you know, they were really going for it. <laughs> there's one thing in the gentle breeze, but there's another when the wind gets up, and it's going to be cold and chilly over the Easter weekend, it, it seems. Isn't it? Yeah. I know, I, I see that on the East last night, they say, get ready, because uh, Monday, Monday that was as hot as you like, wasn't it? It was, you it know, was. Last, I sat out there, and uh, I wheeled Mother down to the back bit, and uh, she sat there with me, and we uh, she had a cup of tea, I had a good ship. Lovely. And, uh, you know, in the afternoon, not in the morning, and uh, I sat up there, and uh, we, we say, now look at this. Hey, what a difference, you know, a few days make. And then, blast me, I was watching the Lookies last night, and another difference coming. That's, that's going to turn cold, in it? I know, might be some sleet or snow, perhaps Monday, I know, Tuesday. I know, I know. I, yeah, you just sort of get your hooks up, don't you? And you the next do. thing you know, we're all going <coughs> to all got to get our old jumpers out again. Put your big old coat on, you'll be fine. Hey, now look, what do you think of all this litter that's lying around? All the papers this morning are full of litter in all the parks. The television programmes are full of it. We're talking about it. Litter in our parks everywhere as we've come out of uh, lockdown this week. People have gone a bit crazy, Brian. I, I wondered what you thought about it. And on the beaches. Yes. Seriously. You know, yes. I, I've Mark, seen pictures on the telly with people on the beach, and there's nothing wrong with them going on the beach. You know, they've been they've been hauled up long enough, ain't they? You know, if you if you let cattle out of a truck, they're gonna they're gonna all sort of gather together, aren't they? You know, and when you look at these scenes on there, you know, I I know they said, oh, they're all on the beach. Well, because they're on the beach, you know, they they've got a right. If they're allowed to go on the beach, they're gonna go on the beach, aren't they? The same as if they're allowed to go in the park, they're gonna go in the park. He ain't said you can't go in the park, have he? No, he hasn't. No, no. no. But the thing that wrong with me is when they then go home and they leave all their old crap all over the lawns and on the sands and the stones and, you know, I I sit there and I just sit to myself, why, oh, why do you have to treat all these areas like it? Because some poor buggers now got to go and pick all that stuff up, in not they? Yeah, they have, yeah. And that costs money, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, they'll, 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 they'll be moaning next because <coughs> we'll have to pay more. And because uh, I don't, I, I wouldn't say I lose faith because that would be the wrong thing to say. But yeah, I, just, I sit there and I, I put my head in my hand and I, I think to myself, why? Why? You know, that's not difficult to pick up your rubbish is it, and put it in a bin or take it home with you. Yeah. You know, why they have to leave it? In a, I'll tell you why it is because they don't care anymore. I think, I think they're just, they got to the point, Leslie, where they're heading off. Are being told what to do, they they're allowed out, and that they just for that they they almost forget, you know, you know what I mean. That make you wonder what the houses are like, don't it? It does indeed. I can't I can't imagine you going to the Melton Fish Bar and throwing your chip papers down. I always bring my litter home. If we go out, right, we go in the Derby's or something, and then we drive on somewhere and we stop and have a... <coughs> mind you, it's been a long while since we've done a lot of that, but we're, we're now allowed to do a bit more of that. You are allowed a bit so more, yeah. We'll, we'll go out, and we, you know, if, if we stop and have a, a sandwich or something, uh, they, I always bring me stuff home. I don't open the window and hull it out the window, do I? Good, good. You I'm know, glad to I hear it. We, we've got to think more, you know, but then... You know, then again, do that sort of happen like that in Suffolk? Are we more, are we more sort of sympathetic here, Leslie? I don't know, Brian. It's Mark, by the way. And they relaunched uh, the Countryside Code today. Remember the Countryside Code? Y- yes, I do. Yes. Yes. And yes, yes. That's what we need. You see, they got to let people know the do's and don'ts, and not just that. If they're caught. Pull them to task, you know, slap them a fine, they don't do it again. Well, that's very wise words, Brian. We should get you to, uh, we should get you to front the campaign. I don't mind, boy, I, I can come down the switch now, I'm allowed out, aren't I? <laughs> oh, it'd be lovely to see you, my goodness, as we've never ever met, it'd be lovely, it'd be fantastic. <coughs> anyway, how's uh, how's your weekend panning out, how's Rosemary doing? Uh, yes, yeah, she's, she's all right, she's been spending more ruddy money. Has she? It's like a, like a hands or a sieve. 
<laughs> and and she, you know, she, like water. Because you know, she, I told you she won some money on the lottery, didn't I? She did, yes. That's right, when well, she bought all sorts of old squit that she hadn't been using, but this week, right? Oh, I'll tell you what, a couple of things made me laugh this week, Leslie, right? The other morning, Neil on the corner. Yep. He come, <laughs> I had to laugh. He got this dog, right? Yes. And he, cu- he always come past it. You know, you can, set your, you can set your watch by him. He's always on the same time, you know. Yep. Even when the clocks go forward, and he cu- he come past the other day, and that old dog got pull him, and you know you sort of think you laugh, you know who's taking who, and he pull he'd been yanked along. Yes. Boy, the dog knew. You see, little old biscuit. I ought and that never pull me. I said no, no, you come here, and you know you jerk it back, don't you? You know you do. But old Neil on the corner, he almost he almost get yanked along by the dog, and then Rose me right. This week she she had a box come and she's bought herself <coughs> well she say us a massager. Right. Right? And what what that thing is that's got has got these old balls and she she showed me when I went round the other day, she said, You have a go and you you clip it on the back of a chair. Yes. Right? Yes. And it's got these balls that move round, you know? Oh yes. And so she plugged the whole thing in and that start vibrating and she put her <laughs> She put her back up against the chair. Yes. And and that that because she get a little bit of back ache up the top, you know. Yeah. Do, do you know what in between her? What a um, wonderful idea. Shot. Yes. So she lay back, and this, these these balls, right? They 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 turn and they go around. And so she said to me, she said, "You ever go?" Well, I didn't think much of that because because <clears throat> I've got a bunny old back anyway, and that was digging into my spine. Oh my goodness! So, but but she reckoned that took a lot of her stress away because she. She do, she do like, like, not at night, she'll sit there and she like these old scented candles. Yes. And she like to put the lights down and, you know, get a little bit sort of, oh, no, is, is it sort of uh, hypnotised and all that, you know? Well, it sounds know, like she's it. creating a romantic atmosphere for when you come round, Brian. Huh? You heard what I said. Uh, anyway, you've, um, you've, you've had your own issues in the past. You've had a bit of cramp in the past. Does it well, not help with that kind of stuff? No, do you know what? That's come back. I, I was still getting, I uh, had cramp, blast, I had, I had had cramp for quite a while, but in the last couple of weeks, I keep getting cramp in my foot, and what happened, right, and I don't know why, because that's when I'm in bed, so you aren't sort of standing, are you, when you, I can't understand why the cramp come on when you're lying in the bed, but I suddenly get it, and it go <clears throat> up the side of, you know where your big two is? Yes. That go up the side... And as it do it, that, that sort of pulled your, your big two under, do you know? Yeah. And and you can't do nothing about it, can you? And I get out of bed and I, <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I'm hobbling about and I can't make too much row because that'll wake mother. Because if she wake up, she, you know, she don't drop off again. She'll want a cup of tea. And so I sort of hobble around. And what I had to end up doing, Leslie, right? I have to go yes. into, the, <laughs> into the bathroom. Yep. And I have to lift my... Lift my leg up yep. and push it against the top of the bath. Do you know what I mean? You, know, I have to get it and push it, and as I push it, that sort of ease off a bit. But that stops throbbing, does it? But what? Huh? <laughs> but why is it? Why is it, Leslie? That that come on when I'm lying in the bed? I don't know, Brian. I don't know. <laughs> Too much salt. Too much salt. Steph says. You stand on your feet a long while. Hello, then Brian. You get cramped. Brian. Steph says too much salt. I think that's what it is. Well, I, I, I try to cut down on my salt, but I do like my salt, Leslie. Yeah. You know, you, with the you fish have and a, chips. a old plate of fish and chips, a bit of salt and vinegar on yeah. there. It's lovely, isn't it? Well, you be careful. I'll tell you what, we'll open it up if anybody's got any uh, cures or remedies to, to cure your uh, cramp in the big toe. I've heard vinegar's quite good. No, they ain't in the big toe. That's, that's, that's in the bit of skin that go from your big toe. Right. Up to your heel, up the side, you know. Oh, that and one. Then, then that pull me big toe under. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll open it up see if anybody's got any cures for you. Now, look, Brian, can you do a couple of shout-outs for me before you go? Yes. Would you mind? Um, Dan Smith is from Noddishall, OK? And he turns 30 on Saturday. And Megan, his uh, his partner's been in touch, and she says, any chance you could give Dan Smith from Noddishall a shout on the show? Dan Smith, and he's in, he's in Nordishall, you say? Nordishall, yes, near Leiston. he's going to be 30 on Saturday. Yes, he is, yes. Well, I, I hope you have a nice birthday. Well, that's very good of you. And uh, and June Peck's been in touch. 
She originally came from Nether Wallop. Huh? <laughs> she originally came from Nether Wallop. Oh, where is that then? <laughs> not around here. Uh, she says, um, could you wish Brian and myself, that's not you, that's her, Brian, uh, a, a, a happy anniversary. It's it's their emerald wedding anniversary this week. 55 years, Brian. Cool. Brian and June Peck. Long, long, long while. Yeah. Uh, many people do that now, Leslie. No. Uh, what's her name again? Brian and June Peck. Brian, From- Brian and June, a happy anniversary. And, yeah. you know, she's especially lucky she's got a Brian in her life. <laughs> <laughs> Mary just sent me a text. She thinks she might have gout rather than uh, anything else. No, they ain't gout because your foot turned black and blue, doesn't it, when you got gout? <laughs> and have you got? Uh, have you managed to get some normal hot cross buns? Because I know this week, last time last week, you were grizzling about salted caramel ones. Y- yes, I did. Yes, and I, I give the other ones to Neil on the corner. Excellent. Was, he, he had me talking, so when we come back, and the old dog was jerking him forward. He stopped <laughs> off. He said, "I just heard about your buns." And so I was supposed to hold you hard. So he'd come in and uh, I'd give him the, the salt and caramel. He his this was like the salt and caramel Excellent. ones. But Excellent. Yeah, you know, I, I got three packets and uh, we, shall, we shall have some of them tomorrow, some of them on Sunday, and of course, as, as, a, as a bank holiday on Monday, in it? It is indeed. Brian, have a lovely I, I weekend. I'll be putting me litter in the bin. Good boy. Thank you very much, Brian. Cheer, cheerio together.